Hello! Howdy, welcome, hi! <laughs> Sorry, stream started a, a little bit late today. <laughs> Had some important things to do. But it's fine, whatever. <laughs> I've also got some other important things to do. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Oh, it's Rare Dude! <laughs> welcome back. Ooh, using your Prime account. Fancy, dancy. <laughs> I'm doing well. I got, uh, I did some work earlier. I got some more work to do later. Um, uh, but, uh, quite frankly, I couldn't do the work. It's art related. And I couldn't do it because Vincent is in my chair. Um, <laughs> I didn't want to, I didn't want to force him out of the chair. So, here we are. <laughs> so let's enter the castle and... And go fight this spooky scary dragon. My cords are so fucking tangled. That's the the problem. If you see me look down ever, it's me looking at all the cords. Or one of the cats. <laughs> That's the thing. I like the GameCube so much. Uh, but it's tough for me to be like, Yeah, I'm gonna do a GameCube game stream today. <laughs> because since I've got way more cords goes into pl hooking it up. Um... It's, it's so much more work. <laughs> Eventually these, these skeletons are going to become enemies. But for now, I guess they're just fun decorations. Got your first commission to- Oh, Jesus. <laughs> your first commission today. That's so exciting. Ooh, gotta remember how to play the game. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's do multi-bounce. Okay. Shit. Okay, that's okay. I still knocked him over. This is less efficient, but Koops can then do... Oh. Oh, I'm out of FP. Oh, poo. <laughs> poo and... Dang. <laughs> and I did poorly anyway. Just should restart. Restart, restart the whole, whole game. <laughs> How am I out of FP? <laughs> I'm a, a real fool and, and a goon. Koops has to hit whoever's in front, by the way. Uh, cause that's how his move works. So, just kind of things you need to keep in mind. There's a lot of strategy. <laughs> Actually strategy that goes into... Paper Mario. <laughs> oh, I'm dumb. I, I need it. I'm stupid. It's fine. Clearly, this is already a pretty scuffed start to the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. We're all just... <sighs> that one shy guy that just left, that's like, that's all you guys. That's people checking in on the stream and going, nah, <laughs> and bouncing away. <laughs> you guys really are like the, the little audience in the, in the crowd. Fuck, another one! I, I'm not prepared for another fight. Hang on, I'm dying. <laughs> Use your items. <laughs> Great. Oh shit, that actually wasn't as useful. Oh no! Okay, okay. Um, Goombella, up here. I need you. Okay. I did claim ownership of the shy guy. You did. We all want to be shy guy. Let's uh, sw switch people around. <laughs> and, and do a quick little tattle. That's a Koopa Paratroopa! Well, um, it's basically a Koopa Troopa with wings. Max HP is 4, the attack is 2, defense is 1. I kinda hate that this guy gets to fly. She really does just want to be in the air. Goombella wants nothing more than to fly. <laughs> of course, you can stop on him and he'll plunge down and be a plain old Koopa Troopa. Yeah, do that and he's ours. Stop again to flip him and his arms and legs are useless. Oops, sorry, that's not true. It looks like he can still wiggle around- wiggle them around a bit. <laughs> Oh, hey, the, the fire flower actually was not that bad. Let's heal Mario, because <laughs> I need it. Oh, they can hit people in the back. <laughs> this is devastating. Eh. OK, OK, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Fuck. I'm so bad at video games. <laughs> okay, 
I got rid of one of them. No, I just knocked him down. It didn't even- Fuck! <laughs> We're gonna die. This is far too dire for being so early on in in the <laughs> the day. <laughs> Not even just the dungeon. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, I don't actually want her in front anymore. Okay, okay. Now, now you go. And now there's only one, and we'll be all, we'll be fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> She's fine. <laughs> Kill them, quickly. Okay, great. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> Far too... Too... Going too hard. <laughs> oh boy, I gotta choose one to upgrade. I've already done health. I want to do other things. I will be using a lot of FP. FP might be smart. But badges are so fun and interesting. We'll just do badges and we'll try to level up quickly. <laughs> Maybe we'll level grind. <laughs> I got a fun little question for all- Oh, thank Jesus, we leveled up, so we healed. Okay. Okay, Goombella, get out of here. I want coops. Uh, but I got a fun little question for you guys. Uh, what kind of streams do you all prefer? And not just from me, from like, in general. If you're watching somebody- do you like games where it's basically the game is in the background and the streamer is chit-chatting? Or do you prefer games that are, like, really investing and you need to take a lot of time to, like, dedicate to the story and and that's what the- the- fuck, <laughs> what the streamer is focusing on. Huh? Fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck, I, le I leveled up my- badge points and then I didn't even put more badges on myself. Like an absolute goon. Okay, oh guys, I knocked over two of them. So now we can power shell and we'll be alright. Okay, it wasn't as useful as I would have hoped, I'll be honest. <laughs> I don't know, you're the only streamer I watch? Well, golly. Depends on the streamer. Well, okay, then let's go with from, from little old me. Which one do you prefer? Because I think there are pros and cons to- shit. <laughs> there are pros and cons to both, for sure. I know, it's it's rough because I feel like it's easy to do streams where it's basically just me just jabber John at you all, obviously. Uh, but I- I- I like watching streams where people are a lot more invested in the game. <laughs> so I, I don't know, I don't know. It's a big ol' stinky question mark, I suppose. Put on badges, put on badges. Also, maybe, maybe drink a, a, some syrup. <laughs> Gross that it's syrup, <laughs> not juice. Oh my gosh, it's Messiah, thank you so much. Popping in to say something funny and then leave. Now if only I was funny. <laughs> now if only I was funny. <laughs> I think you're funny enough. Oh boy, that's great, that's great. I prefer the streamer not to be the main focus and just be part of it most of the time. That's, you know, that's a good one. I think it does, I, the game does, I think, matter a lot. Um, like for example, I don't know, Minecraft. If you're in it for the story with Minecraft, I mean, more power to you, I gotta say, but um, but I don't know. I feel like it's much easier to just be like, and now we're gonna just talk a whole lot while I, well, until something interesting happens in Minecraft. <laughs> and so, and what is power bounce? Just, is this, that just a big old stomp? And what is happy heart? Slowly and automatically restore HP during battle. Okay, so that one sounds way more useful. Um. So. Which lets you jump on one enemy until you miss an action command. I see! So if I were better at the action commands, power bounce could be fucking out of this world. But I uh, I think happy heart might be a smarter option for right now because I'm bad at video games. 
power bounce as you keep jumping to the- I see, I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Sonochi, you're- I believe you are the- the MVP of the stream last time. Where you- you knew all the- all the secrets and hints and tricks. <laughs> I will rely on you endlessly. You are the crutch that will make me appear strong. <laughs> You, I don't mind. Ever since I started watching your videos back in the day, I feel like you can do anything on stream. No matter if there is gameplay in the background or if it's just a chatty stream. Well, golly. That's some high- Oh, high praise. <laughs> oh, oh no! That one does have blue shoes. These bones, they remind me of my father. There's, there's no doubt about it. It's my father. Dad! Um, wait, what's this? Mario, my father's clutching some kind of letter. Or at least his uh, bones are. So, what should I do? Should I read it? Yeah, 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 read it. Um, okay, I can do this. I'll, I'll read it. Ahem. I came to this castle to destroy Hooktail, but I am stuck and can go no further. So in this letter I shall note Hooktail's weaknesses for those who follow. The dread Hooktail cannot tolerate creatures that begin with CR... And end with Ikit. What a weird way to give your hint. <laughs> Hidden somewhere in this castle is an item related to Hooktail's weakness. If one is to have any hope of defeating Hooktail, one must first find that item. One last thing. If faced with ultimate doom, the fiend will use any trick to save itself. If you hope to defeat it, do not give in to your kinder nature and fall for its tricks. Alas, I do not have the strength to continue writing. Already mist veils my eyes. My last words go to my son, Colorado. I love you, and I'm proud of who you've become. Huh? My son, Colorado, not Coops? Oops. Um, yeah, I guess this isn't my father after all. Wow. So who's Colorado? <laughs> but if this isn't my father, I wonder if that pile of bones over there is my dad. Okay, Coops. <laughs> <laughs> I like playing story games because the viewers can get as invested as I am. Or if they've already seen the game and they want to see my reactions, they can. That is true. That is true. Oh, what, you mean this this scary red bones coops? I don't know, man. The Maybe. <laughs> Hang on, I need water. Twins, here's a joke. What do you call something that's beautiful and funny? The correct answer is Twin Zinc and Allison. It's not a very good joke. <laughs> but thanks for the swing and a miss um, pickup line. <laughs> Blarf, harf, harf, harf. You clearly don't value your lives much if you've come to this castle to disturb us. You will go no further, and from this moment on, you'll be nothing but bones! Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, golly! It's pushing us. <laughs> um, what are they doing? Ouch, it's no use, Mario. They're all over me, man. What should we do? Oh, oh! There we go, just, just hammer them. When in doubt, use your hammer. Hammers are the most powerful thing. Oh, eh. there we go. It's Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> <laughs> Can't flee this fight. Oh, and the enemy- the look, the audience is all- is all, uh, dry bones as well. I need Goombella out. So, oops, wrong thing. Uh, uh, there we- nope, wrong thing. Okay. <laughs> no. Fucking the boot. <laughs> oh, that's me. Um... Defend. Okay. Cause I don't want to kill them without getting getting a tattle on them. Boy, stop. Leave her alone. Jesus. <laughs> Great. Oh cool. It only heals me, not my partner. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's great. Okay, I'll go in front. No, I don't. And I don't want to go in front. You go first, and then I'll heal Goombella. That's a dull bones! Sort of a skeleton thing. 
It was a Koopa Troopa once. Max HP is one, attack is two, defense is one. These creeps throw bones to attack. Oh, and they build reinforcements too. Uh oh. Attacks that can strike multiple dull bones at once are the most effective. Okay, I am going to heal her and next time I will do some good strong jumping. Colorado is a character from Paper Mario 64. Is it really? <laughs> I am unfamiliar with uh, the original, like, kind of party you can accrue in in the original game. Pretty sure there's a cute little boo girl. I feel like I've seen her. Oh? Why are they so strong? <laughs> Okay, Goombella. Um, please tattle on the red one. <laughs> That's a red bone. It's a little too red, I think. No fashion sense, you know? Yeah, it is a lot of the same color, isn't it? Max HP is a five. Attack is three. And defense is one. Unlike your average dull bones, even if you pound it to zero HP and it crumbles, it totally might revive like a zombie. My advice is to get rid of all the dull bones, then attack the red bones. Oh, and one more thing. Once its friends start to fall, it may create some more. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Leave her alone! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> huh? Oh, fuck! It's okay. <laughs> Goombella, she'll be fine. Okay, okay. Surely this is the solution. There we go. Shit, he's making more. <laughs> huh? We're out of FP. We're out of everything. Everyone, start to panic. <laughs> Fuck. Panic harder. Panic more. Uh, okay. Okay. Not great. Not terrible. We'll be fine. <laughs> Here's hoping we get a bunch of EXP from, from, from this. Panic at maximum level. <laughs> yeah, Colorado is a Cooper Explorer in N64. Not a partner, but he's somewhat important in PC. Oh! How cute. Who's texting me? I think it's Critter. <laughs> I'll check on that later. <laughs> Metabo's gonna, gonna gonna die, so gonna leave early. That's all right. That's all right. Make sure you plug that boy in, so you can do lots of fun art. <sighs> I'm so weak. Maybe I need to hammer them. <laughs> Just basically keep sweeping with coops, I guess. <laughs> Critter, oi! It's a time of day, and you haven't talked to me enough. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Jordan. Welcome. Don't worry. We're doing shocking, shockingly well for being also quite bad at video games. Oh, Ranger has reappeared. Welcome back. Howdy. Welcome. <laughs> Coops' styles, uh, stylishes are fun for PowerShell. If you press A as soon as he gets back to Mario, and then after about two seconds. Okay, I will. I will try. PowerShell. Is that his his big move or his normal move? Because I don't remember what it was for the normal move either. Yeah, yeah. I'll be using PowerShell quite a lot. Oh, cool. Basically, just start smashing A a lot. <laughs> Seems to be the trick. Thank goodness. It was a lot of EXP that we really needed. Because I do want to upgrade that FP. We're going to be using it quite a lot. I don't know why I'm going backwards. There's nothing over there for me. Let's keep moving forward. <laughs> Getting all Jason and the Argonauts over here. Ah. Jumping on them is useless. I should just hammer them. No, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Work smarter, not harder. His regular move is pressing A when his shell hits the ground after he hits the enemy. Then again, after a few seconds. His are tougher, but some of my favorites. Koops is a real swell character in general. 
Oh, that was too fast. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a real a real 10 out of 10 partner. Like if I think of Paper Mario, the first thing I think of is Goombella. But Koops is a quick afterthought, I must say. Give me that, give me that, give me the sun shine sprite. Oh boy, a mysterious powerful object. Collecting these will help, but how? <laughs> it's not even in my items. Oh, what did that do? I think I need to give that to one of the one of the wizard guys that's hanging around. <laughs> Coops, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> that he's an afterthought. <laughs> okay, there's only three here. Way more manageable. Feature first ever Souls game. Owie. <laughs> Congratulations. Those are hard. I was playing Code Vein the other day. And I think it was actually on uh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> Allison was, was cooking and she requested I play a video game in the living room to keep her entertained. And I was like, hell yeah. So I, I played Code Vein. Um, spent most of that time making a new character. Because it's got a great character creation <laughs> system. Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah, they've, they've explained Koops' ability. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, now am I smart enough to, to do it though? Fascinating. That's not what I expected. And what does this do? It can't do anything. It's blocked by that yellow block. I see! Koops, stay over here. Koops might have the most useful ability of all the, all the, the friends. Oh fuck, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I feel like like the other team members we get later on, like they will be useful and interesting, but I feel like Koops is just just the most effective when it comes to traversing the world. Hey twins, anything specific that inspired you to make your fallen angel avatar? Hmm. Not really. I uh it's technically a redone version of the first thought I had, uh, which is to say that. So I uh, I first got into VTubers, like I, I fell down the rabbit hole, and I was quite taken with them, like from the get go. Uh, and and so I was like, what if I were a VTuber? What would I what would I look like? And what would I want to be? And I I figured I honestly at first I was like what about a demon demons are cool and and then I was like no that's not quite right but what about a fallen angel instead because I, I I find fallen angels quite interesting um, and I mean what's up here <laughs> uh, uh, and so I was like cool 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 so I got that idea and and I kind of just just drew the first thing I thought of, <laughs> honestly. Um, and then I uh, I refined that that a little bit once I I decided to actually like start streaming and everything. Um, I've always fancied my like drawing myself with white white hair and red eyes ever since I was a little kid. That's how I've always like if I make my own character in a video game. That's what I always do. So that was a, a no-brainer. And then from there, it was giving myself horns. <laughs> I, got a, I got a key, which is good. I need this. Um, so yeah, and I remember actually, I did a couple of different versions of my silhouette, but with the colors. I had a various different colors. The only one I really remember that was different from what ended up being the final uh, option I went with, which is what you see now. Oh, gorgeous. Um, I colored myself based around Banjo-Kazooie for one of them. Yeah, you know, with like brown, yellow, blue, and some red. Uh, but I asked Critter, like I sent her, <laughs> uh, I sent her like the sheet of all the things I had. And I was like, what are your thoughts? Which one do you like best? Um, and she said this one and I felt that I must agree. So uh, I guess the the short answer to that very long uh, uh, answer for you is I just went with what I like. <laughs> Let's see what's up here. This feels like the right way to go. Oh yeah, we got a locked door. I think I know what's in that door as well. 
Yeah, we got purple up blocks, huh? Imagine that. <laughs> the purple truly does always go up, it seems. Fuck. How do I get up there? I want that. I want that badge. Well, we'll figure it out. Um, let's go back on down. Wee. Short answer. Yeah, you went with one you liked the most. Yep. And I think that's a kind of the the best way to go about it. Dang it. <laughs> Here. Um. Let's try. Yeah. Swap. No. No. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll just jump. <laughs> we'll be fine. <laughs> it's less efficient, but whatever. <laughs> I was thinking of how to beat everything in like a one efficient round, <laughs> but, but I've only got two FP, so it didn't really matter. <laughs> as long as I jump on the things and so Coops can hit them, we'll, we'll be fine. All right. Hey twins, if you're a temporary brokenness ever stops and I recommend playing Hollow Knight. It's really fun. You know, I'm bad at video games. Hollow Knight seems very interesting. I know people are quite uh, very excited at the uh, the sequel eventually coming out. Silk Song. Um, shit. <laughs> We're fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> um... But I'm- I, ca I can't believe I'd be that good at, uh, at Metroidvanias. I don't think I've ever played one, honestly, so I don't know, maybe I- I'm selling myself too short, but... Dang it. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> oh no, they knocked over Koops! He's a Koopa! He couldn't get knocked over! <laughs> oh no, I forgot about that! <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. Um, great to know. <laughs> Man, I'm really sucking ass. <laughs> Leave him alone. Just, just swap him out. He's useless right now. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I can't. I can't because he is fallen. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Fuck! I keep fucking up my jumps. I suck at video games. Hey twins, why did you say that if you were a vegetable you'd be artichoke? Because I like artichokes. They're really tasty. <laughs> Don't you agree? We're fine. Everything is fine. Don't even don't even worry about it. Whew. Don't worry, not a problem. We're alright. <laughs> See, I'm not opposed to the idea of of playing Hollow Knight, but I just worry that I wouldn't be very good at it. <laughs> uh, what program do you use for a VTuber? So, uh, to move and such, I'm using VTube Studio. Allison rigged it by using Live2D. So, there you go. Oh, look at that fun little badge over there. Aw, oh, nice. Oh, oh, it's on a timer. It looks like we gotta use coops. I wanna know I don't eat vegetables. Huh? I like vegetables. I think they're tasty. Wait, can I go? Can I? Nope, that's a door. All right, well, we'll figure that out. Don't worry. <laughs> Nods and takes notes. <laughs> Twins, I don't think we watched your streams because of how good you are at playing games. Yeah, I would certainly hope not. Not at- not- not at this point. You all should know better. What the heck? Hey! Guests! It's been a long time since anyone came here. A real long time. Huh? You heard me? Wow! Wait a sec. If you can hear my voice, you must be some legendary hero or something. I am. Or not. To be honest, I'm not sure anyone with ears can hear me. But it sure is fun zinging people with that whole legendary hero bit. Hey, but seriously, folks, I was wondering if you could let me out of this chest. I've been locked in here for so long. I'm starting to cramp up like you wouldn't believe. All you have to do is find the key and let me out. Easy. Huh? What do you mean? You think you'll be cursed if you open the box? Ridiculous. Who would do that, really? Wait in the box and curse, folks. That's a real slime ball move. That's who. 
Yeah, I said that wrong. Don't worry about it. But I'm not a real slime ball, and I wouldn't do no such thing. But that should be obvious. Hmm. I don't know. Look, if you help me out, maybe I'll help you out. You know, a little I scratch your back, you scratch mine, except in reverse order. Of course, you don't have to do it if you really don't want to. Like, finding a key is hard. Huh? <laughs> huh? Twin, some words of encouragement in regards to your awfulness at video games. When I died nearly 20 times to the blood starved beast in Bloodborne, I could have quit the game, and then. And I did. Then I picked it up after two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I will- I will continue forth despite my awfulness, if only for you. Is there anything else in this room? Obviously it's gonna get filled up. Oh, fascinating! We can return here with a friend. We must do well to remember that. Please somebody remind me when we get a friend who can handle that crack in the wall. You all, if you know, you know. But when we get that friend, Remind me to come back to Hooktail's castle. Oh, Mario, look at that. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't like the look of this. Come on, run, 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 running. I did not pay attention to the path enough. I should have, but I was too distracted. Fuck, piss, is this not the way to go? I guess it's not the way to go. Okay, that's fine, we'll be fine. Everything's fine, everything's fine. Don't even worry about it. Nothing to worry about, nothing to worry about at all. Just keep talking fast and everything will be okay. Actually, this is pretty easy. We're, we're good. <laughs> easy mode, peasy mode. We're fine. We did it. Reminds me of when I was a kid and played Lord of the Rings Return of the King and got stuck at one level. Okay, yeah, but that game was also broken. If it's the one I'm thinking of, that game... Or maybe my mom was just bad at video games. <laughs> hey, twins, you need a friend. Just a reminder. Thanks. Thanks, Stereotype Gamer. Man, that was too close. Gotta shake it off. Ooh, okay, we got the key, so let's open that spooky chest. <laughs> yeah, Coop sounds good. <laughs> the point is, you can't give up when a Souls game is hard. Or, I can give up and just never play the video game again. $60, well spent. Hello! You're a huge Mario fangirl? Well, welcome. I have played this game before, uh, but it's been a long while, so I'm pretty rusty with the gameplay, but I like the story quite a lot. I technically haven't ever beaten it. I, I wasn't good enough to fight the final boss. But it's been a long time, so I'm excited to help introduce the story to everyone in chat. Well, I hope you enjoy yourself, cool Mario dude. <laughs> hey there, boy, I'm so glad you found that key. Unbelievable. Wee hee hee, fools! Oh no, another curse. Oh golly. Why only the most idiotic, pudding-brained adult would fall for a scheme like that. The castle's traps prevent anyone who's entered this place from ever leaving it. No matter which path you take, you're fated to waste away to a slow, painful end. But wait, there's more to this great deal! I'll throw in a free curse, no charge! Oogly boogly boo! Oh, heavens! Wee hee hee! Now you're cursed, doofus, and it serves you right! This curse is more cursedly curseworthy than any curse that's ever cursed you! For this curse makes you like a piece of paper when you press and hold R! Wee hee hee hee, what a curse. Who curses like me? No one. Now I shall show you just how frightful a curse it is. Go on, press and hold R. Wow, I'm flat. You idiot. Press and hold R. Oh, oh, sorry. I, I, I didn't realize I needed to keep holding it for you, sweetheart. I'm so flat and silly. Wee hee hee hee, just look at yourself. How embarrassing for you. Eat a sandwich, skinny. Hee <laughs> hee. Do you understand what that curse means for you? Yes. Then farewell, you dumbbells. Wee hee hee hee. I did call it sweetheart, didn't I? <laughs> well, golly. Uh, that is incredibly useful. Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to unlock Jean and Bayonetta. And I've completed this game multiple times and I'm still failing. In which one? I still haven't played any of them, technically. I want to play the third one. I like her- I like her outfit a lot. <laughs> Ataf effects R. What does it do? So obviously it changes the sound effects. Oh, and it costs no... Changes the sound effects of Mario's attacks. But is it retro? Is that what it does? Oh. It sounds like a cricket! 
Which is useful because Hooktail doesn't like crickets. <laughs> Mario after his curse. Ah, I'm flattered. <laughs> But if I told if I don't eat my meat, then I can't have any pudding. It's true, but you also gotta eat your vegetables. If you don't eat your vegetables, then you don't get to go home. So, you know. There's <laughs> a lot to consider. Um, there was another thing I wanted to get to that was flat, I'm pretty sure. I'd imagine the paper cuts are, are, are real in this, though. <laughs> The stream steadily devolves into just being puns. <laughs> I believe I can- yep, I can sneedle on in here. Ha 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 ha! Coops, go get it for me. I was close. Castle key, excellent, I need that. Alright, alright, let's go back upstairs. I love veggies. I do jokingly call eat them doing my time though. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you drink your vegetables, sometimes you eat them. You must ingest the veggies. Uh, but not fruits, because I don't like fruit that much. I don't like how messy they are. Just just um they're they're too uh, they're all juicy, and that's what I don't like. There's no way unless you've got a fork and you've already cut the fruit up. There's just no way to eat them in a way that's- I didn't need to do that. <laughs> well, oh, I should undo that. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> but yeah, I just don't like eating fruits. They get all over you. Did I save? Let's save again. It can't hurt. Sneedle on in there? Yeah, man. Don't you ever just- Hi, Eggstaff. Welcome. <laughs> Don't you ever just sneedle into locations? Just sneedle- sneedle on in? <laughs> Twins, I swear at this point you just don't want any food with flavor. So, fruits are tasty. Like, on that- in that regard. Like, they do- they've got- they've got a solid flavor to them. But, uh... But the mess, the mess outweighs the flavor, I must say. Yeah, fruit does have more sugar. That's the word on the street. Word on the street, it's a fact. <laughs> this is not what I expected this room to be. Okay, that's fine. Thank goodness. It's almost as if that button was completely useless. Oh wait, I think I've been in this room before, but just below. I- okay, we're alright, we're alright. <laughs> I can drop the tube, dude. <laughs> oh, but can I make it over there? Oh, golly. But- had, We- <laughs> Well. Welly well well. Well. How irksome. I'm gonna go in here. Where am I? <laughs> this is where the key was. Huh. Fascinating. Hmm. Don't worry. But I am lost. <laughs> I didn't expect to be lost. But I am. <laughs> That's how I leave. Okay, well, uh, I guess let's just keep moving forward again. Um... Oops. <laughs> I've been up since 12 as a normal, I haven't passed out from tiredness then. You might actually be overtired, which can happen. Uh, and I feel sorry for you, son, if that is what you've done to yourself. <laughs> it's like if you take too much melatonin, like if you take melatonin to sleep, you can uh, take too much of it and it'll actually just not help. <laughs> so, yeah. Good luck with that. <laughs> It's just like how you can kind of like overstretch, you know? You can you can just do it too much. Just just chill out, <laughs> I guess. Um no reason to enter either of 
I mean, I guess I can I can sneak through these bars, but and then it's the curse, and then it's the room with the curse key. Hmm. Boy, howdy. I'm embarrassingly lost. I'm lost in, in, in a way I feel like I shouldn't even be lost. Uh, th th We're just patting the runtime. <laughs> oh golly, I guess I'll just have to keep reading chat and uh, and wandering around. Man, that old, that old, I boy. <laughs> Do you want directions? I. Uh, I feel like there's only so many places I can go. <laughs> Wait. No. Hang on. I'm thinking. I got a, I got a thought brewing. A whole a whole idea. Oh ho ho ho! You can jump out the window! We're fine. The thought was incorrect, but we're okay. Don't worry, I found the solution. Twins is not not dumb. Don't fuck. Yeah I am, because I jumped on the dry bones. <laughs> Again, like an idiot. <laughs> Thank goodness. I just wanted to walk around the um the whole castle. <laughs> <laughs> Basically since like the first fight that I had, I've had no FP. Hang on, I got I got blow my nose. I'm going to mute my mic for that. So don't bother you guys. Give me one second. Boy howdy. All right. Cool. Kill! Alright. Murder! I'm only ready to, to strike the ones who are not alive. <laughs> this I think that puzzle stumped us as kids too. I refer to myself as a plural because Critter was there. <laughs> uh, but thank goodness I've got the ability to perceive now. <laughs> Nice. We're doing it. And eventually we'll level up too. And that'll be swell. Twins spreading her germs through the internet somehow. Do- don't do me dirty like that. <laughs> okay, let's believe in myself. Okay, good. I knocked them both down. I'm swell and amazing. Great. Got it. I am doing much better with the uh, the combat, I will say. Or at least I'm not dying <laughs> like how I was at the beginning of the stream. <laughs> have you ever played a Persona game? Yeah, she's played Persona 5. Technically, I haven't. Critter played some of Persona 5. Uh, we only got to Futaba, and then we, we kind of fell off of it. Uh, I watched Critter play. Um, and I gotta say, so, I love the aesthetic of Persona 5. It actually was a humongous influence to me, art-wise. Hang on. We got a cutscene. Huh? Huh? Oh my, who's this handsome piece of cheese? I can't believe there are other thieves here besides me. How very strange. Uh, hey, who are you? Me? Why, I'm Miss Mouse, the globetrotting thief. Heard of me, sweetie? I heard there were rare and valuable badges here in this castle. That's why I'm here. But the real question is, why are people like you roaming around in such a rundown place? Um, well, you see, we're here to beat Hooktail and get the, uh, Crystal Star. So don't think we'll let you get the Crystal Star first, no matter how cute you are. Crystal Star, you say? Mm-hmm. -hmm. I don't know, uh, a thing like that was hidden in this castle. Sounds intriguing. Perhaps I just heard something you didn't want me to- hearing? <laughs> Darn. <laughs> oh, but that's okay. I mean, you were looking for the crystal star first. And I already found the badge I was after, so I'll let you get your crystal star. Um, hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oh my. 
I hope that healed me. Mm -hmm -hmm. It means I must say bye bye for now, Mr. Cutie. I know, it's sad. We just met, and already it's time to say farewell. Alas. So dynamic. Oh my, you're so bold. Is that legal? <laughs> He's just like me for real, for real. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a little secret to share with you. Somewhere in this castle is a badge that'll help you best to hooktail, or so I've heard. I don't know what kind of badge it is. Maybe you found it already. Maybe not. If you're going to fight Hooktail, I'd recommend finding that badge first. Well, take care, handsome mustache man. Let's get together again real soon. I feel like as a kid, I never actually applied the badge that makes your sound effects sound like crickets. Uh, and I just effectively fought Hooktail on hard mode. Because I'm dumb. I wonder what her story is. I bet it's an interesting one. Full of romance. Yeah, probably Coops. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh... Nice, Mushroom. Um, Persona 5, aesthetically delightful. Played a humongous influence on my art with the colors and such. Great. And I got no Shines Bright. These will help. Don't know how, but they will. Uh, but story-wise, I feel like the gameplay was looked great and swell. Uh, but story-wise, I kind of hated how they continually sexualized on. So, no. Technically, I haven't played any Personas. I watched Critter play half of Persona 5, and I watched the anime for Persona 4, and that seems really swell. Uh, uh, looking at the Persona wiki, there's a character from Persona 3 who I, I'm gonna describe it as I quite fancy. Uh, Junpei, I believe was his name. So, reasons to play your Persona. I should play 3 because I like Junpei. <laughs> So yeah, that's my, uh, that's my thoughts on Persona. Miss Mouse is a bitch and a half to recruit. Yeah, I never, uh, I never recruited her successfully as a kid. So it'll be, I'll, I should try to, I should try to do that this time. It will do a lot, but I think it'll be fun. Let's go. Heard the 3 remake isn't coming to Switch for some reason. I've also heard people were disappointed with it, but uh, I haven't actually looked into it too much. So, I don't know. <laughs> Persona feels kind of stressful, I gotta say. That one's just alive! And I bet he's gonna kill his friends! That pal block would definitely take the others down, I think. Ow, fuck! <laughs> gotta keep your eyes open for the lights, I guess. <laughs> um, let's get the one with the pal block first kind of a, a problem to handle. Wish I had a uh, power shell so I could take out the the dry bones there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Before he makes a friend. <laughs> okay, we should be fine. You may not like Junpei's personality at first. I've I've handled many a uh, thug who turns out to have a heart of gold. <laughs> I think I'll be okay. <laughs> Just outside the Miss Mouse room is something very useful you can get. Okay, hang on. Let me let me head back. Ah ah! Run away! That one coin isn't worth it. <laughs> oh, if I fall. I can get that badge, yeah? Like, this way? Damn it, that was not right. <laughs> I may have forgotten what room I was in. <laughs> um, do this. The remake's not out yet, but the main disappointment I've heard is that it was not remaking three portable, which means they're not remaking the female protagonist and she's not in the game. I see, that is pretty dumb. Right outside the Miss Mouse room, huh? But where? How? So Nochi, if you uh, if you stand just at the Miss Mouse room door and fall off towards the top, then yeah, fall off this way. Oh, oh ho ho! That is very useful. I got a life shroom. Hooray! Ow, fuck. <laughs> Thank you. 
I would have never known about that. That will be incredibly useful, I'm sure. I will need it, because, say it with me, twins is bad at video games. <laughs> yeah, that is a little lame that you can't play as the, uh, the female protagonist in the remake, then. It's kind of- it's just dumb to do it that way. I should have jumped on him anyway. I'm a- I'm a fool. A fool and an idiot. Oh, I'm so close to leveling up, though. Yeah. Let's do this. How much does that refill? Six? Okay. We're gonna do... We're gonna do this. Because I feel like these guys can be a real pain. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, dang it. Oh, piss. His defense is so high. He's the, the most buffed boy in all the land. And they didn't get closer to each other, which I expected them to. Whatever, it's fine. And I will just, just pummel that one until he dies. Luigi's in the audience! Look! Do you see him? <laughs> Murder, do it! Well, we did it stylishly, even if we didn't succeed. Okay, but he lost his defense. Well, we're fine. <laughs> Hooray! I don't know much about Persona, but if anyone knows, isn't Shinjiro sort of more gangster with the, uh, the heart of gold type? Pro maybe? I do not know. I just know that Junpei looks cool. <laughs> He's less gangster and more vagabond. That is a fascinating distinction. I gotta believe in myself. Everyone believe in me! Okay. Th thank you. Thank you for believing in me. <laughs> cool. I did it. <laughs> Excellent. What's a vagabond? It's like a wanderer. Think of a- uh, like a- like a ronin in uh in japan we leveled up hooray we needed that <laughs> select one to upgrade fp please all right useful helpful handy thank goodness and we'll probably kind of just continue in that little cycle of of health Health, BP, FP, health, BP, FP. Until, unless something, like, outstanding is like, wait, no, this is a problem. <laughs> I want that. I want that over there. So let's head this way. Gotta walk careful. And shimmy my way through the bars. Oh fuck! <laughs> I was I was wondering if that side was flush with the wall. It's fine. It's fine. This will just we're just taking our time. <laughs> Twins years from now muttering them into the padded room. Health BPFP. Health BPFP. <laughs> Did you see me walk with confidence, lose my confidence for a second, and then continue walking with confidence? <laughs> alright, alright, just got this. Okay. And then, believe in yourself. Oh, not that hard. <laughs> I got it! Alright. What am I doing with the star pieces again? I kind of forgot. I'm, but boy howdy, I'm collecting them. Is there anything on this side? Okay. Eh. 
Almost didn't make it, but we're all right. Hang on, I need water. Unless you're a madman who just invests in BP every single time. <laughs> you turned them in for badges, yeah? <gasps> yes, and I wanted a type of leaf. I've got five. For a second I read it wrong, and I read it as star pieces, and then my, my eye trailed up slightly, and I read it as 163, and I was like, that's wrong. <laughs> uh, great, cool. Where am I? What the heck? <laughs> What's the- okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh! I think I want to jump down here, though. If I'm correct. Ha ha ha! Oh, I should have fucking done coops. I'm an idiot. Coops. Guys, why did you let me do that? <laughs> That's alright, I got the last stand. Drop the damage your ally takes by one half when in danger. Okay, great. A ludicrously helpful badge, even if I may have fucked myself up and we gotta go the long way around. <laughs> You're near the star piece you missed now? There was a star piece I missed? But where? Please, point me in the direction. There's at least one more in here that you haven't gotten, uh, but more star pieces will come later too. <laughs> Would you say vagabonds are like nomadic? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you could probably Google the word if you go out the window, go right. Oh ho! Fancy schmancy. <laughs> oh, look, I can see it. Cute. <laughs> also, look at that skybox. That's an adorable ass little skybox, too. I like this game. I like this game a lot. <laughs> Even if I'm bad at it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I unleashed this vagabond curiosity on your stream, Hoods. It's, it's all right. <laughs> I just, you got me, like, I'm like, it, it's one of those things where I'm like, how do, how does one describe Vagabond? <laughs> but yeah, I think Wanderer is the best way I could think to describe it. Is this the right way? Yes, yes it is. I remember, I remember. Don't worry, I'm not lost. I'm not lost. Don't worry, don't even worry about it. You All that worrying you're doing, stop. Stop it already. <laughs> oh, the slow part. This is fine. <laughs> Coops go back in time. That's the thing, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, well, uh, like being mad about it doesn't change anything now. That's kind of a, a way I've been approaching life in general these days. It's like, okay, well, you know, can't go back in time. Change it. So whatever. Staying mad won't change anything. <laughs> Cool, we did it! <laughs> I got a key and the last stand badge. So, uh, winner, winner, chicken dinner for me. We're not even an hour in. We're very close. And we're only an hour in! <laughs> the shine sprites! Gotta keep picking these up. For a reason. <laughs> That's a fancy looking door. We gotta get to a save point first, I'm sure. Look at that guy. Look at that nice skybox. Golly wally. What kind of chicken dinner would you like to experience? All of them. I like fried chicken a lot. <laughs> uh, I can't multi-bounce because I got that, that, that jerk sitting there. With the spiky head. <laughs> Great. Um, yeah, just do power shell. We'll be fine. Eh, I suck at doing the stylish moves with coops. <laughs> uh, what the fuck was I gonna say? Chicken dinner. Yeah. Um, basically just fried chicken. I'd say sometimes we get that from the store. You can get some fried chicken, and. It's tasty and good. <laughs> Maybe I will request that. No, I mean, we got leftover pizza, so it would be foolish to request that. But then we'd have so many leftovers. <laughs> and we wouldn't have to cook dinner for the rest of the week. What's doing? Oh, hang on. Let me wait around until this 
Thank you for the mushroom. <laughs> that's like, that's like, they're like when you guys donate and stuff. <laughs> the other thing is, you all don't have to worry about me accidentally um, hitting you in the head with a hammer and then being like, oh shit, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were giving me something nice. <laughs> Fuck, uh, I approached so cautiously, too. Fuck, I suck at video games. No one will ever suck more than me. I should have just pulled out Goombella. What am I fucking doing? Idiot. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, whatever, it, at least it wasn't the one with the, with the POW block. No, we'll just normal bounce. Whatever. Great, we're fine. Everything's fine. Don't even worry about it. And look, we got all of our health back. Nothing to even worry about. <laughs> I think we should all go to Raisin Cane's for a three finger combo to celebrate Twins' love of chicken. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the shy guy, he's going crazy. Oh fuck. <laughs> they didn't do anything to stop him. <laughs> okay, we got rid of the one with the pal block, so we'll we'll be, probably be fine. Even if I We'll never be good at video games. <laughs> oh, piss. And I did a thing wrong too. Ah, it's fine, everything's fine. No, don't even worry about it. <laughs> Not sponsored. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> did I say no one will ever suck more than me? You know what? That sounds like the kind of thing I do say. <laughs> I'm really good at hyping myself up in the worst way, huh? <laughs> I'll get you dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets that taste better. That's the science. You know, they do taste different. I don't know if they taste better. Maybe we just got cheap dino nuggets previously. But I do like me some chicken nuggets. I've still I've actually got some chicken nuggets in the freezer right now, but they kinda suck. <laughs> it's really it's got us both thinking like we should just get an air fryer. Look at this. Look at this ISO a whole 360 Wow we Wowee, wowee, kazowie. Golly gosh. So fancy. But yeah, well, we're th we'd like to get an air fryer. <laughs> so we can cook things more efficiently. Don't get me. He got me. <laughs> Fuck, there's so many of them that I do not want to deal with. <laughs> there we go. Great. Swell. An easy peasy battle. Oh shit. The boy fell over. It's fine. <laughs> I can handle this, surely. Alright. <laughs> Just having a wiggle battle. <laughs> When's the deadline for the Doug redesign, by the way? The 15th. So you got around a week. Oh. Hooray! I like how you tried using specific terms and then devolved to wowie wowie wow. Yeah. <laughs> I think I I think I got all of the word isometric out before I kind of I gave up on on real words. <laughs> Is there anything back here? Nope. We're going to change out for Goombella. Uh, cause we're gonna want to tattle. Great. Thank you so much, gotta go, but I wish you the best. Hey, golly, have fun. Uh, drink your water, eat your vegetables, all that jazz. And I'll see ya on the flip side. <laughs> you guys have a Trader Joe's near you? I don't know. <laughs> don't have a vehicle, so near is a little limited. Oh my gosh, hang on, my glasses are smudgy. Who dares approach me? Well, we'll find out in one second after I wipe my glasses really quick. 
And now I can't read you guys either. But you can see me blink so efficiently. Wow. I can blink and open my eyes and... What? <laughs> and now we're back to this face. Okay. <laughs> oh, I haven't heard of this redesign. Cursed algorithms burying stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've mentioned it on stream a couple times. Uh, I uploaded the VOD that first talked about this. And I made a post on about this on both Twitter and both of my channels on YouTube. But I think basically what it is, is... You can just make an outfit for Doug, and we'll look at those on stream together, and that'll be really fun and cool. Uh, the only rule is you can't change his hair, eye, or skin color. And that's it. That's the only rule. So... Yeah, who dares approach me? <laughs> oh man, he's so large. Actually, I think it's she, <laughs> but we don't really learn that until later. Hmm, so, you are friends of the strange garbed one who came earlier. I didn't expect more to come to steal the treasure I protect. Such rashness. That was foolish, I fear. Uh, yeah, I fear. Do you really think you can beat me? But you're so small, and you don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. And the bottoms of your feet smell like they might make a good sauce with some spices. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> what I'll do is saute you to crispy goodness and gobble you down head first. <laughs> Snack time, little appetizers. But which one of you morsels should I taste first? Uh, well, golly. Surely it must be Goombella. <laughs> That's Hooktail. Max HP is 20, attack is 5, and defense is 1. It'll stomp and munch on you, and it has a more dragonish and it has more dragonish attacks, stinky, fiery breath. It's tricky, especially when it's losing. A and it'll try to fool you into being merciful. Oh yeah, and one more thing, it hates things that start with C R and end with Ikit. Supposedly there's something related to that somewhere in this castle. Did we find it? We did, Goombella, we did. Uh, I should focus on the head? Hang on. Black! That awful sound! It sounds like a cricket! How'd you know? Stop that this instant! Everyone seems to know. This doesn't seem to be like a particularly well-guarded secret, Hooktail. Oh, I got really bad food poisoning once when I ate a cricket and I hate them. Oh, fight it, Cookie. And just hearing a cricket chirp makes me feel woozy. Ouch. All right, all right. No, just normal bounce, let's go. Maybe one day I'll do well. Ugh, must not gag, my poor tummy. So very woozy. <laughs> and I want you to change out to Coops. Okay. Nice defense, self. Thanks, self. Someone just shout out at the dragon. <laughs> cool. We're doing quite swell. I suppose if I had power bounce, jumping on, on them would be more useful. Let's just do this. And we block the falling wall. Oh, but not the bucket, because I'm... <laughs> whatever. <laughs> We're doing so well. Oh my gosh. It's like I don't even have to try. I'm just too good at video games. Hell yeah. Dang it. <laughs> really? God gamer. For real, for real. <laughs> he can't hit me. Can't hit me at all. I am just the strongest, most powerful, and coolest person. 
Well, wait, hold up a moment. I give up, please. I won't be so bad anymore, I promise. In fact, I'm sorry for everything. Uh, yeah. Got a text from no one. It's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. To prove it, I'll give you 1,000 coins. What do you say? Can you forgive me? Keep your coins, fiend! What? You must be joking. You don't need any coins. Then how about the lovely, rare, extra special badge I have? I'll give you that. It's one of a kind, and it's yours for a limited time only. Will you take it? Keep it, you cad! Uh, really? Well, I suppose I could apologize by letting you smell the bottoms of my feet. No. Hooktail? <laughs> no, thank you. You'd make an excellent streamer, though. People pay good money to do this. This was written in, like, 2000. Far before it's time. <laughs> I'm being completely honest right now, really. So, care to take a whiff of the rich yet delicate scent of my world-renowned feet? <laughs> Maybe just a quick sniff. <laughs> I say nay. <laughs> Hmm, you are a very trusting fellow, are you? It's important to be able to trust someone, you know. Uh, I guess I'd do bet- I'd better... Watch, this is gonna be so cool. Oh shit, he ate the toads in the audience! Heinous! A villain? That's just not right! <laughs> ho 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 ho! <laughs> oh, now my strength has returned to me! They're dead! They killed them! I've had enough of this. Let's finish this guy off fast, Mario. And then we take it into the audience. I feel like- I think this is the only time this happens and it's so cool. Ah, fucked up the timing. Oh, why do I always have to feel so faint every time I hear a cricket? Not even- not even the lights can- can fuck me up now. I'm just too good at video games. Honestly, I don't even think a power smash is necessary. Da 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 da! I win! But I. I. If you jump on Hooktail's mouth, you can actually free some of the audience. Oh, wow, I didn't know that! <laughs> ah, why? There's still so much I wanted to do with my life, so many meals. We defeated the villain! And got a bunch of star points! Golly! Did you hear my- hear my controller shake? Fancy tech! <laughs> wow, we actually pulled it off, Mario! Now all we have to do is find that crystal star thing you're looking for, Mario. Yee yeah, yeah. Oh! Oh! Oh my! It's a man! Yeah, I'm out! I'm finally out! Whoa, it- it can't be! Eh? D dad Hey, you're- you're Koops! Hey, son! You've gotten so big since I saw you last! Well, yeah, I guess I have, but who cares, Dad? I mean, golly, what happened to you? Where have you been all this time? Well, I came here a while back to deal with Hooktail, and all was well and good. But just before my finishing blow, he played a trick on me and gobbled me down whole. He definitely tried to sniff the dragon's feet. I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> That's what this guy's into. <laughs> I've been hiding in my shell for the ten- for the ten years! This has been ten years? Good gravy. Ten years since then, inside Hooktail's belly. And boy was it nasty. Yuck, I'm so glad to finally get out. Ah ha ha ha! Honestly, Dad. Don't you know how worried about we- uh, about you we all were? For ten long years we all thought you'd- you know, we thought you, your game was over. Oh, sorry son, but I'm okay. That's good, right? We're together now, right? Hey, speaking of which, what are you doing here anyway? Oh, come on, Dad. I came here to defeat Hooktail who's been wreaking havoc in town. And Mr. Mario here is looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. Crystal Star? This wouldn't be what you're talking about, would it? 
<laughs> What's that? I found it down there in Hooktail's belly. Nice, huh? I kept it as a souvenir. So, this is the thing you're looking for? Perfect. Just perfect. You can have it. I can? Come on, now. I won't take no for an answer. You're Coop's friend. Please take it. Wow. We got a crystal star. And you learned the special move, Earth Tremor. A very important special move, if I can do it correctly. It can be really good. It can even hit um, flying enemies, which is important. <laughs> Mario and friends finally got a crystal star in the castle after defeating Hooktail. Koops even reunited with his long-lost father, whom he thought was dead. Yet, they were unable to learn anything about the whereabouts of the princess. Where could Princess Peach be? Yes, Mario's adventure has only just begun. Nice. Progress was saved. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Mario, are you sure you don't want to rinse that off first? <laughs> Cute little transition. To the most interesting part of the story, if you ask me. What's going on with Princess Peach? Oh, great exalted Grotus. We brought the Princess Peach. Uh, you ordered, sir. Well, 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 my pet. Isn't it about time you told us where the map is? Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We x knots are not all rainbows and lollipops, I assure you. We're quite nasty. Grota, sir, I have news. Report at once. You know that crystal star we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, someone nabbed it. What? What'd you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? And he defeated the hooktail creature, you say. Speak, soldier! Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's more, too. See, according to the report, it was a mustached dude with a red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario! Excuse me? Mario? Oh, no. Gak, 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 gak. <laughs> Laughing like fucking Mr. Krabs. <laughs> I see. So you know of this Mario, do you? Hmm. This fool matters not at all. I'll know all about him before long. That, I promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir. And men, take good care of Princess Peach, understand? She is not to be harmed. You got it, sir. And <laughs> we brought the Princess Peach you ordered, sir. It always makes me laugh. It's like they're doing a delivery service. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kinda, huh? <laughs> well, Lord Crump, if this Mario character has the map, then it's highly likely he'll find the crystal star we're hunting in the Boggly Woods. You must return there immediately and hasten the e excavation. It must not fail. Was that? Oh, yeah, sure. Roger Grotus. And with that, pow, I'm gone. What a toad. <laughs> I wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He is a bit out there. Hmm. x not. I summon you. You rang, dude? I mean, sir. You rang, sir? Grotus, dude? Grotus, sir? Grotus, sir? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Go get the shadow sirens over here. The shadow sirens, sir? But hey, I don't care how you plan to end that sentence, fool. Go get them now. Gotcha. The Honorable Grotus has need of us, then we arrive without delay. Mwee hee hee, pray tell, did the princess tell you where the map is? Steal your tongue, Beldum. We would already have it if you'd snatched her earlier. But now, since you missed your chance, some poor, poor fool named Mario has the map. It wasn't my fault, truly. There were too many prying eyes there, too many. Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of truth and we had to retreat. Why worry? All we need to do now is find this Mario and steal the map, yes? 
Indeed, that is your duty, must I remind you. That map is vital to the, to the x not plan. I will have my pen- I will have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, hear me, Beldum. You, Shadow Sirens, must take care of this troublemaker. Mwee <laughs> If you're not, Sire, I, Beldum, shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian, come. We've got a job to do. Gah. I like the Shadow Sirens a lot. They're really fun. Twins' the delivery on that shut up was so natural. It's because it was very funny. <laughs> oh dear, here we go again. I can't believe I'm kidnapped again. Mario and Toadsworth must be worried sick. Again. But hang on a moment. Where in the world am I anyway? It's so unfamiliar. I wish I could at least let Mario and Toadsworth know what I've been, that I've been caught. And then we gotta play as her! Wow! <laughs> Look at that! She looks so cool! Wow, wee! Fancy dancy! She's got so much dimension to her. We got a cute little bed. It's cute. Got a little medicine kit. Handy. Hmm. Head over to the left. We got a bathroom. All the amenities we need. We can even take a cute little shower. What a lovely shower! No soap scum even. Wow, I wonder if it works. Cute little sequence plays out. That shut up reminded me of Petey Wheatstraw. I don't- I have no idea who that is. <laughs> Petey Wheatstraw. <laughs> that sounds like a fake character right there. <laughs> It's like a My Little Pony name. <laughs> my name's Petey Wheatstraw. <laughs> I'm a farmer, and my my whole deal is that I'm I'm battling uh, Applejack. You know, <laughs> it's it's a movie. <laughs> and look, now her hair is different. Isn't that cute? How refreshing! I feel like a new princess. And she's got I think cute little blushies, but maybe she always has blushies. So itchy. talking to Vincent there. <laughs> yeah, you can change your hair. That's cute. But I don't think it trans transitions across to the next screen. So it's kind of useless. <laughs> hmm? What was that? Hey, how odd. The doors open by themselves. Twins. A brony. I used to be. But also, like, I was in middle school when My Little Pony Friendship is Magic was happening. I'd argue I was the target audience. <laughs> Weird, it doesn't look like anyone's around. Sure is a creepy looking area. Hmm hmm hmm. A long hallway. Oh! How do I keep making these doors open? How odd! Pe Princess Peach has never been in front of a, a store. It doesn't work. This is an elevator, I'm pretty sure. And we cannot use it. But yeah, Peach has never encountered an automatic door before. Why'd I freeze? It, did the whole stream freeze, or is it just me? <laughs> oh my. Well, I, fuck. <laughs> I had looked back to pet the cat, and then... And, and I, golly gosh. <laughs> here, I'll, I'll scoot over here. <laughs> and we'll just focus on the scene for a second. <laughs> Y'all, don't, don't mind me being frozen real quick. Let's... Let's pay attention to the story. <laughs> Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who said that? Where are you? How amusing. I am right here, before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am the Tech XX. Many call me Tech. You may. Sir Grotus created me to be a perfect computer, one that is flawless in its reason. Grotus? Wait, he's that awful dumb-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Twins, I close my eyes, I do not see. I'm sleeping, shh. <laughs> Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. But I doubt I'll change your mind. So, I'm wondering, why did you lead me in here? I am unsure. I am unus An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Also, an unidentified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs. 
And their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Oh, you know what I think might be the problem? Oh, it's because the light is beaming directly onto my webcam. <laughs> I gotta let me close my curtain. <laughs> wow, I looked up and saw just a... It can't see anything. Hang on. <laughs> There we go. Crisis averted. <laughs> so let's let's get back into into this scene here. And grab my controller from the floor. All right. And their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion has no precedence. Cause unknown. I, the perfect computer. I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. Wait, did you just say you want to observe me? To know more about me? Could it be that you... No, impossible. It can't be. You're a computer. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't really, because it's just too weird. Please tell me. Please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything that I do not understand. Please. Well, you know, maybe. Is it possible that, well, you're in love with me? Love? What is love? I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what love is? Love? How do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy, smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you will do anything to help when he or she is in trouble. Happiness, fun. I have definitions for these words, but my programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend love? Love's not something you comprehend, Tech. You feel it. Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? What? You're a computer. Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love. Please. If you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But, of course, I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. What? Are you insane? You ex-jerks kidnapped me like common Koopas! And now you call me in here and ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen! I'll grant- you'll grant my wishes, huh? Why should I believe you? I understand you are angry. That emotion I comprehend. You need not teach me now. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay, here it goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send wireless e mail to anywhere you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you, enter the recipient address and message. You mean this keyboard? All right. Let me give this a shot. Okay, it's ready, Tech. Can you send it? The message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something. Uh... Okay, then. Good night. Good night, Princess Peach. Fascinating that they kept Peach's holding room so close to Tech in the first place, but I guess they figured he would he wouldn't um open open the doors for her. <laughs> huh? So that is a very interesting plot that we will check in on at the end of every level. Quite frankly, it becomes we gotta defeat, defeat this boss so we can go back to Peach and Tech. <laughs> I think it's very fun. Mm -hmm.
But she's not the only one we check in on. We've got a very important character to check to to get a, a looky loo as well. <laughs> <laughs> It's Bowser. Hooray! Grahar! Bowser the Mighty Koopa King has arrived. Hold your applause, minions. But now that I'm here, Cammy, you crusty old hag, why'd you summon me? Uh, great Lord Bowser, the uh, crusty hag Cammy Koopa will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. And then you gotta play as Bowser too. That's so fun and neato. Golly, golly, Wally! You can even breathe fire. How cute is that? <laughs> Kill them. Nah. So the other day I saw Lord Bowser gazing longingly at a photo of Princess Peach. Uh, you may want to put a cork in him, man. Who? I tell you, the look on his face when he was mooning over that thing, huh? Yeah, Lord Bowser. Well, I'm dying to hear the rest of your hilarious story, Mr. Comedian. Do share. I'm not funny, sir. <laughs> He's not funny, sir. <laughs> Lord Bowser, I have been training day and night to help you conquer the world. Should the time come, I shall be ready. Order me as you please, your surliness. Uh, super. In that case, I order you to do some sit-ups, tubby. <laughs> What a jerk. <laughs> Read the room there, bud. <laughs> hey, Lord Bowser. <coughs> Lord Bowser, please, if it's not too much trouble, head to the rear of the hall. Alright, here I am. Ah, Lord Bowser. No, oh, yeah, take your time. That's all right. Where's your broom? <laughs> I've just now returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. I bet you are, Cammy Koopa. Now out with it. Why have you called me here? Please, your grumpiness. Don't be so impatient with your poor servant. Ahem. It's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Rogueport. Oh. <laughs> Am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. Are you gonna call me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh. Yes, well, you see, my lord, apparently Mario is hunting for an amazing treasure. T treasure? Yes, Mario has gone in search of star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. The Crystal Stars, you say? They sound like good world-conquering tools. I want them. Hmm, yes, very good. Continue researching this for me, you brainy hag, you... Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? You bet I do. Do I? I love fried eggs. Love them. But what a weird question. Why do you ask? Well, during my Mario recon, I stopped in a lovely place called Petal Meadows. I was planning on taking everyone there for a picnic, having some eggs and toast. <sighs> How villainous. <laughs> Of course, I wouldn't think of sending out invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. Airhead! A picnic, you moron! This is no time for fun! See, this is why my evil plans always derail, because you clods always goof off. Ugh! Oh dear, Lord Bowser, please calm down. Remember your blood pressure! Hmm? What's that? What? Is this true? Lord Bowser, terrible news. Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach in Rogueport. Um, what? Tell me you're lying, Cammy. How? When? Where? Who'd do such a thing besides me? I'm afraid we don't have that information quite yet. The investigation's ongoing. One thing is most certainly confirmed, however. The princess has been kidnapped. Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so. I will not stand for this. I'm going to Rogueport now. I gotta kidnap her back. <laughs> He's so cute in his little Koopa copter. Huh? Huh? Well, I'm sure that was not the most efficient way to leave. But your grunginess, wait up. <sighs> huh? Huh? 
cool. Bowser's story is less intriguing, but it is very fun. <laughs> really like how all these bad guys actually like each other despite how abrasive the boss is. I agree. There's a lot of really fun characterization going on. All right, back to Mario. Coops, my lad, are you telling me that you're going with Mario? Um, that's right, Dad. I'm gonna continue traveling with Mario. And then I'm, well, I'm gonna come back a strong Koopa like you, Dad. Nice to said, young Coops, that's my boy. But always remember this, you are my son, Coops, and I am your father. What a weird fucking thing to say <laughs> for a man who effectively went and got milk for ten years, you know? <laughs> Coops, my sweet, I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. Ah, uh, man, I just had, if anything happens, you can always come home, Coops. Don't you ever forget that. This village will always be your home. Okay, thank you, everyone. Well, I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewells. So, where are we going? Let's head back to Rogueport. Remember, Mario, the bearer of the magical map shall unfurl it before the thousand-year door. When this is done, the star shall guide the bearer to the crystal star with pure light. And it didn't stop there. Each crystal star shall point to the next. That's what the book says. Which means if we take back the- take the crystal star- the- fuck. Just, we gotta go back to the door. <laughs> That's canon, she said that. <laughs> so that means the location of the next crystal star will, star will appear on that magic map? Exactly! Come on, let's go! Cool. I actually want Goombella in front, I think. Because she's just fun and swell. Oh, let's go to the item shop. I think it's one screen over. Thank you, random old man. That's the- that's the mayor! <laughs> you don't remember? <laughs> cool. Yeah, let's uh, let's buy some things. Some useful little old items. And I'll take actually a second one. Cool, and I want some more of these. Okay. Uh, have I accrued any points? Yeah, but nothing useful. Okay, let's go. Back to Rogueport. Goombella would say fuck. 1000%. <laughs> the only reason why she wouldn't do it more often is because she'd want to be a little professional. <laughs> You can get a badge here with a flat cor curse? Oh, oh, I think you're right, you're right! Mario, are you okay? You're totally shaking. Do you need a bathroom? I've got mail. On my little Game Boy Advance. <laughs> oh, is that a mailbox SP? Cool. With the light? Hey, who's that mail from? My dearest Mario, I send this letter in the hope that it reaches you safely. I am being held against my will in some strange place. Though I do not know where I am, I remain unharmed and in relative comfort. Those who have captured me seem to be after the map I sent you earlier. They may be hoping to use it to find objects they call the Crystal Stars. I do not know what they are planning, but I have a feeling it is not anything positive. Mario, please collect these Crystal Stars before they do. You must. They are already aware that you have the map, so please be very careful. And please, don't worry about me. Princess Peach. Wow, wait a sec. Isn't that from Princess Peach? The princess? So that means she's okay. At least she's not hurt. That's true. But it sounds like whoever kidnapped Princess Peach is also after the Crystal Stars. Which is bad. But let's head back into town. Cheeky reference to the OG GBA and its terrible lighting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for real. That was the kind I had. I got that um, second hand. We had a friend who, uh, who gifted it to us. Uh, Crater and I. So we only had one. Which means, like, I think, yeah. Which is why we had to, like, take turns to play Pokemon Emerald. <laughs> Mega Rush, huh? Let's see, let's see what that does. Increase attack power by five when your partner's in peril. That's not terrible to have, but I don't have the, uh, the P for it. And I think I'd actually would rather get power bounce first. So, uh, we will, uh, just focus on leveling up 
and getting our BP up as well. But yeah, I had the old school uh, uh, GBA with the terrible lighting. I remember being our so uh, my room like didn't have a light in it. It just had a ceiling fan, uh, and so I had a little lamp. Or maybe it was Critter's room. Did we share a room at that point? I can't quite remember. But um, yeah, I remember being crunched in this horribly uncomfortable position to try to get as under the light as I could <laughs> with the shit with the with the lamp to try and um to try and I'll just run away <laughs> they're just goombas <laughs> okay we're fine <laughs> oh you drop coins when you run fascinating okay uh, yeah, to get under the light to try to see the screen. Oh, I think I did that while trying to play Red Rescue Team. Uh, wow, wow, wow. A fucking blast to the past. A rocket to the past. I should, I should keep playing that, that Rescue Team remake. Uh, just on my own time. <laughs> now that I've entered the post game, it was so cute. Y'all got to hear me nearly cry on stream for the first time that stream. Huh? 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 Yeah. Gotta make it. Gotta make it all the way. There we go. Oh, Goombella. She'll she'll be fine. <laughs> you are quite a bit late, Dill Pickle. <laughs> That's alright. What we're probably gonna do, uh, I'm gonna uh, get to the door, find the location of our next, next area that we want, that we're, we'll be heading to. And, uh, I don't know, I might do some, uh, cleaning up. Oh, this is the wrong place. Uh, well, I'll find my way there. Uh, might do some poking around town and then we'll, we'll be wrapping up. I know, a little bit of a shorter stream, but it's cause I, I've got some more, uh, uh, work I'd like to do. I know, I'm always working, always working, always working. <laughs> but yeah, a tiny bit of a shorter stream. But as always, it's to help. I'm doing other things. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Welcome, Mario. Same with my amazing abilities. Uh, it's my humble job, so shall I see something for you? Oh, fine, I guess. My next path, star pieces, shine sprites. Oh no, I don't want any of that. Aha, uh -huh, is that so? Well, if there's ever anything you want to find, just ask. Well, sorry, bud. Oh, I see something. There's something above here. If I can get on- Oh my gosh, a star piece! Neato! But I was- there, You can see a shadow on this little podium here. If I find a way to get up, uh, then I'll be able to kind of do some parkouring. I found it without even your hint, Sonochi. Oh my gosh, I'm so cool. I'm the coolest and strongest. No one will ever be cooler and stronger than me. <laughs> Parentheses, except for Sonochi. <laughs> uh, if you can hold on to 120 po coins, you might be able to buy the stylish tutor badge in Rogueport. And what does that do? Oh, that's the one that tells you when all the stylish things happens. Uh. That could be handy. And I have quite a lot of coins. Yeah, I still have 137 even after my little shopping trip, so we should be alright. What's in here? Oh. Well, I can't go through this just yet. But interesting. <laughs> I'm sure we will return. <laughs> What's down here again? What, what was this? What, what's this pipe? <laughs> the amount of times I played Game Boy under the covers, I either use a flashlight or a light attachment. Oh yeah, they had those. I don't want to fight those guys. This is not the way I want to go, I think. No, no, no. Oh, I still got the- I can get rid of that. I don't need my sound effects to sound like crickets. <laughs> it's- it's a- there are- it takes no BP, but I, I'm gonna say, um... Don't, don't need it. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it's sold by the mustache guy in Rogueport Plaza who shuffles his stock every time you leave and return to Rogueport. 
So it's a toss up if he has it or not. I see. Uh, this is the wrong way to go too. All right, all right. <laughs> um. Where's the fucking door? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm, I'm not lost. I'm definitely not lost. Uh, I'm just exploring. <laughs> Twins have got some pizza. I mean, work. <laughs> um, it was it was this way, wasn't it? It was to the left. Well, it's not this way, obviously. This is where fucking Dazzle and, and Homie G are. Uh, uh shit. <laughs> Why must I be lost? So that's the entrance. Let's save. <laughs> it can't hurt. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We'll wander back over here really quick. This one. I was so close. I'm just a fool. Oh. Well, that's okay. We got we got secrets. <laughs> can we enter the buildings? We can. Oh my gosh, another guy. Hello. Hello, welcome. I'm Merly, underground, cute as can be, a fortune teller. That is me. <laughs> Lucky for you coming here, I tell fortunes, have no fear. Let my mystic power tell of days to come. More as well, for luck sits on my spells. What do you say, Mr. Guy? Want to give it a try? That's good. That's great. Choose your path of fate. Which path do you choose? Special path? Normal path? Cheap path? I have no idea what this guy does. Let's go with normal path. Okay, that's fine by me. So, ready? Ready for me? Okay, here we go. Oh! So three dimensional. My mystic power can make you smile. Hearts in battle, uh, you will win with style. Even if nasty foes arrive, you'll be fine with my fortune. We'll thrive. Okay, come again. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Yeah, I have no idea what that did. This is Merle, the charmer's house. With her charms, you get random bonuses in battle. It costs a few coins, but I hear it's totally worth it. Well, hey, great. Great to know. I guess that means, um, my HP is up for some time. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, well, still lost. That's all right. <laughs> is it this way? No, I just came out of this door. Oh, heavens. <laughs> Shin poo. <-poo. laughs> Where do I fucking go? <laughs> I'm lost. Where's the door? It's this way. I'm an idiot. I'm dumb. It's this way. <laughs> I know where I'm going. Don't worry. I figured it out. I'm, I'm... It's not this way, but I know where I'm going. I think... <laughs> I think I'm all right. I need to find where I was. I need to- I know what I'm doing. Don't worry. No, it's this way. I know what I'm doing. Don't worry. I, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Remember how I was like a bit of a shorter stream, but that's okay. <laughs> and then I got lost for 30 minutes. <laughs> Do you have advice on how to get rid of rampant hallucinations? Uh, nope. No, I do not. I did study hallucinations a little bit. <sighs> but I learned how they were started, not how to fix them. Go outside would probably help. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> huh? What else is up here, huh? Wow, cool shit. Can't do anything until I have a friend again. <laughs> We're here for the ride. Just say, map please, for directions. <laughs> Don't touch me. I hate those guys. Not you. The fuzzy guys. The little spinny boys. I thought you were wise and all-knowing. I am wise and all-knowing, oftentimes. But sometimes, my, my all-seeing eyes are blinded by 
demons <laughs> who are jealous of my power. The narrator then says, she lied. <laughs> Twins occasionally gets nerfed by God to keep things fair. Exactly. What's up here? Let's go! I'm so good at flying. I'm gonna go so far. You don't even know. I'm gonna reach. I'm gonna reach everything. Neat. Okay, and I think that one leads to another. Oh, there's a safe block over here. Well, that's down there. I can always access that. What's over here? Oh. Deepest level reached zero. Oh, it's um a savage labyrinth. Danger, do not enter. This pipe is the entrance to the pit of a hundred trials. <coughs> First attack and bump attack badges won't, don't work. So beware. We'll handle that later. <laughs> oh, neat, a star piece. <laughs> I'm gonna get most of those just by being a, a clumsy little fool. <laughs> oh, a shine sprite. Ah. Still don't know what these will be for, but I'm gonna collect them so good. I'm gonna be so good at collecting them. Oh my gosh, you don't even know. Let's save really quick. It can't ever hurt to save. I was worried you were gonna dive into the pit. <laughs> Listen, I see a green pipe in Mario and my first instinct is to just be like, bombs away, we're going in, but uh, uh, savage, savage labyrinths scare me. <laughs> we made it. Thank the good, the good Lord. <laughs> oh, Mario, you ready? Hold that crystal star up. Wow, we. The next area is going to be a really interesting one. We'll be able to check that out next time. Um, next time we play Mario. Uh, it's got a very cool aesthetic, but I kind of don't like it all that much in terms of, like, the dungeon. But I, I think it just suffers from second level syndrome. I almost always dislike the second level of, of video games. Uh, the way how I see it is the first level, you make sure is a real winner. And then the second level, uh, you, you use all your second ideas that weren't good enough to make into the first level. And then from there, you've got, like, a, a path upwards again. <laughs> Twins hates missing. <laughs> Listen, just because Brock is more interesting. <laughs> the location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. The GameCube really was great for these silly little MacGuffin sequences. For real. Oh, check it out, Mario. The location of the next crystal star has appeared. But I, I have no idea where that is. But you know everything. Okay, I guess we ought to let Professor Frankly tell us where that place is. Thank goodness it just warps up, warps, warps us up. Because I don't know if I would have been able to find my way back. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I see, I see. Crystal clear. Yeah, great pun. Come on. Where's the next crystal star, Professor? It's in the Boogly Woods. Oh, Boggly Woods. The second crystal star is inside a great tree there. A great tree in the Boggly Woods. Okay. About those woods, I think some odd creatures live there. An image. <laughs> if memory serves, there's a pipe beneath town that leads to those woods. And I'm surprised we haven't found that on my own, with me getting lost and such. <gasps> By the way, Professor, about Princess Peach. Not long ago, Mario received an email from her. He, uh, it said that the people who kidnapped her are also looking for the crystal stars. Oh, and the worst part? She said that she doesn't even know where she is. Uh-oh, if Princess Peach, uh, Peach's kidnappers are also looking for the crystal stars, what could they hope to achieve? Could the treasure be... Ah, uh, too many unknowns. Unfortunately, the only clues we have for lie... Uh, we can rely on are the crystal stars in that map. Then we'll head for Bogley Woods uh, to find the next crystal star. Let's do it. Yes, I recommend you do just that and find it before the princess's captors do. But don't be hasty. If you're low on items or health, drop by the shopping in first. 
I'll keep researching to learn more about the crystal stars and the ancient treasure. Yeah, Kumbella is, is, she's like, listen, it's summer break. Oh my gosh, Luigi! <laughs> well, hey, big brother. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. What a kawinky dink. Eh? Who? Me? Well, bro, I'm on an adventure. I have to rescue Princess Eclair of the Waffle Kingdom. I like to think there's a part of me that wants to believe that Luigi's story is fucking just made up. That he is just bullshitting. And there is no Princess Eclair of the Waffle Kingdom. But it's the fact that he will return with partners of his own. <laughs> that it's like, that corrobor corroborates his, his story. That it's like... Who is this Princess Eclair? <laughs> Why do we not see her again? Why aren't you rescuing Daisy? <laughs> if you don't want to use the sound effect badges, you can sell them at the badge shop for some shop for some extra cash. Ooh, that's some great great tips right there. Yeah, it's a bad scene, all right. She's been kidnapped by the evil Chestnut King. If you gotta know, I met with some Waffle Kingdom cabinet members the other day. It was pretty crazy, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Of course I want to know, Luigi. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story you want to hear, bro? Waffle Kingdom letter. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. My big brother, that's you, bro, got a letter from Princess Peach and took off. Left behind, as usual, I was cooking a snack at home when another letter arrived. We don't get so much mail, so I was thinking, huh? This is what the letter said. Sirs, my name is Crepe. I am a cabinet minister of the far-off Waffle Kingdom. Our land has been attacked by the Chestnut King who took our Princess Eclair. I ask, nay, beg for your waffle- No, for your assistance, the Waffle Kingdom needs your skills. I humbly request your prompt responses, sirs. Sincerely, Creep. Well, I don't remember it exactly, but I think it went something like that. By the way, we've already fallen asleep. Do you see them? <laughs> With Mario, that's you, bro, gone. Gone, it fell to me to answer the plea. Hesitating only a teensy bit, I headed to the Waffle Kingdom to investigate. Oh no. First, I wrote a note to myself about what I was cooking, then I left. Once I reached the Waffle Kingdom, I met Minister Crepe, who filled me in. The Chestnut King had oh, kidnapped Princess Eclair and vanished. Apparently, though, some oracle said a marvelous compass should locate her. This marvelous compass had been broken into seven parts by an ancient curse, and those parts had been scattered across the land. Can you believe it, bro? Each part of the marvelous compass was said to point to the next. And since one of the parts was embedded in the tiara worn by the princess, I surmised that once I collected all the parts, I'd find her. Smart, huh? The minister gave me the compass, base spoken of, and waffle fa fables. Uh, when it activated, the entire thing lit, up, lit right up, indicating the deep south. It was pointing me towards a rumble bump volcano on the pudding continent. So yeah, here I am. In sailing, I'm sailing out of Rogueport to rumble bump volcano. It's probably gonna be pretty dangerous, but I gotta rescue that princess. Congratulations, Luigi. If you want to hear what I've been up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. We're supposed to get this remastered on Switch in 2024. Can we get DLC of Luigi's Adventure? Yo, that sounds fucking sick nasty. <laughs> I would love to see that. Hi, guy. What do you got? Welcome to the home of Merlin, the super magical, uh, m super magician. I foresaw your arrival. I can aid you if you wish. With three shine sprites, I can power up your partners. Of course, that means I boost their attack power, but also throw in a new move for free. So which partner? Let's, uh, start with Goombella. Shall I power up this partner? Yes, please. Shazibi. <laughs> I read Shazibi was Shazubi, <laughs> which is so much gusto. <laughs> Goombella is going to be able to dominate all of combat. Nice. Then you may go. What can she do now? Look at all that HP! Big girl! Multi-bonk! Hell yeah. That is ludicrously useful. He's a snake oil salesman. Don't trust him. No, 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 no. That guy was... The, I want that snake oil. Look! It's a it's a trick. It's like a labyrinth, you know? You know the scene with the don't go that way. <laughs> you know, you all know with the worm, you know. It's a caterpillar. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm pulling another card trick today and making tons of loot. But somebody started tailing me, so I came here to hide out for a while. Don't tell anyone you saw me here or I'll bop you. Look at that scary kid over there. <laughs> we'll ignore them for now. Oh, a star piece. Cool. Boy, at this rate, I'm gonna have plenty in order to, uh, get the, the badge from 
from homie guy down down in the sewers. Let's head this away. You keep using that word. Which word? What word? What word did I say? Did I say a silly word? Did I say snoodle again? <laughs> Who's this? Who's this salesman? Him with the beard. Hey, 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 yo, oh, I've got all the hottest new products right here. Look no further. You got the fevered look of a man for, with a mind for goods. Want to buy something? Yes. Shooting star. Oh, fancy. Double the damage Mario takes. Jam and jelly. Holly nutrition attack restores 50 FP. That's, oh boy, howdy. Too pricey. And then stopwatch. Um, no. What? No more shopping. Sorry, man. Change offers good. Okay, well, that's a, uh, that's swell. That's swell and good. Okay, great. What's over here? Let's do double check. We, uh, we've got some new abilities. Might as well make sure we can't go running around into new locations. Oh yeah, the crack den where Bandy Andy lives. <laughs> Darn, he doesn't have it. He only switches stuff out when you leave and come back. Or is dang, dang, dang. That's all right. We will return and I don't have the money for it right now anyway. So, oh, sorry, but I didn't mean to talk to you. Listen, this is a huge secret, but you look like an okay guy. I'm a wanted Goomba. <laughs> I was a thief in another town up until about three months ago. Yeah, a good one. But then the heat came down and I needed to hide out, so I came to Rogueport. Now that I told you, you gotta keep it a secret, okay? <laughs> I'm so slick. <laughs> yeah, man, you're really good at this. <laughs> uh, can't jump up there, so that's fine. Just exploring. Exploring the area really quick. There's Toadsworth. I found him. <laughs> Just been hiding out here the whole time. This is a very important looking fella. We'll interact with him more later. <laughs> For now, he can just stay over there. <laughs> One of the cats moved. It scared me. <laughs> um, okay, I think that's all the exploring to do for right now. She won't let us pass. No, look, I'm not letting you into the west part of town until you buy me a new lens. Sorry, but end of story. I can't cook anything without my contact lenses in. Ah, my rage is so hot right now, I could cook you with it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, this is where she does her cooking. Alrighty, so yeah, that'll be it for today. We'll return next time to find our way to the next, to the Boggly Woods. And I'll probably get lost for a long time. Don't legends say Toadsworth never left the inn. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever read Invincible, it should be for the best character with the best name of all time, of all time dinosauros. <sighs> yeah, I've, I've seen clips from the cartoon. It doesn't really seem to be my speed. Uh, it seems fine, but not for me. Quick, what's your art tip? My art tip is draw what you want, but also what you must. Sometimes you don't need- you, you're like, I don't want to draw that. But you should anyway. You'll learn from it. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, draw what you want, but also what you need. Hi, cute guy. Alright, alright. Alright, adios. Goodbye. I'll see you on the flip side. <laughs> well, yep, Lost Woods next time. We'll, we'll do really well. <laughs> Any foreshortening tips? Look up a reference. <laughs> It's the only way you can do it right. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, goodbye. Drink your vegetables and eat your water and such. Adios. Okay, I, I keep looking at the cat. That's why I keep zipping away. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.